I've started most of my seeds for spring. It's mostly tomatoes. Uh, there's a few capsicums and uh, a couple of watermelons, uh, zucchinis and cucumbers and stuff like that. Um, everything else, beans and corn and stuff like that, pumpkins, I'm going to plant out directly. Um, I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to be putting the corn because I was thinking I could put it over there, but then I have to put tomatoes over there. So I might end up clearing out that raised bed and doing it in there, but we'll have a look at that later. Let's see, you can see the banana has re-sprouted there since I've been away, so that's good. And all the citrus trees are starting to uh, put on new growth now. Uh, this little finger lime even looks like it has a few little flower buds, if you can see those purple little buds there. So you might get some fruit off of that little thing soon. And the blood orange is going crazy. It's got lots of new growth, lots of little flower buds starting to form on it as well. And um, this dwarf mandarin has just started. Yeah, I even have a couple of little leaves on this grafted branch. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So hopefully we'll have some kaffir lime leaves off of that soon and some Tahitian limes off the rest of it. Check out this patch of oats right now. It's crazy. I did just notice it's got a few little spots of, I think that's rust, some kind of fungus. I, uh, I'll have a look into that and see if there's anything I can do about it. But just, uh, yeah, look at that. So I haven't watered that since I planted it. Uh, it is a bit weedy and stuff still. But yeah, it's doing really well. So yeah, I just need to find out what's wrong with it and see if I can fix it. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that so far. I was just having a look at these uh, perennial leeks. Um, so the way they grow is they grow little side shoots and I've had them for a while and I haven't noticed them doing anything but I came out and I saw it's got its first little side shoot on one of them there. So hopefully I'll be able to divide those out soon and have a few more. Uh, so I just cleaned out everything that was planted here except the potatoes I planted all potatoes down here now, uh, just a heap of different kinds. There's still a couple up there that uh, haven't come up of the russets and a few up the back that I might have to replace but I've still got a few spare seeds that I can use. And I just whipped a snippet out all these uh, lettuces that were here and I'm going to plant over the top of that with uh, pumpkins and uh, watermelons so that they can sort of spread out into the yard a bit towards the trees over there. And, um, I've taken out most of these cabbages and collards. Uh, I'm still waiting for this to come up, this yakon. But uh, yeah, it might take a little bit longer. Uh, I've still got to get rid of this collard here and these cabbages. I'm not going to worry about uh, getting any of these small cabbage heads off of them because I've still got so much inside and um, still waiting for uh, my purple sprouting broccoli to do anything but uh, yeah, hopefully that won't be far away so it might be something in there who knows and uh, I'll pull this big thing of broccoli out I've just been getting the side shoots off of it and uh, these potatoes took uh, like a couple of months longer than I was expecting for them to come up. So I don't really have anywhere to plant uh, a thing of corn this year. I was thinking I might have to wait until the garlic and the onions and stuff come out. Or I might have to build another bed over there. But um, yeah, I've got a few months before I need to do that anyway. So 
should be right, I'll figure something out. And all of my bare root fruit trees have sort of started growing now. This is the Tinkerbell apple. I wasn't sure how well this peach was going, but it's got plenty of new growth now on the tips and stuff. Uh, so that's the almond, uh, all the apples up the back, you can see. Jonathan starting to flower. Uh, this is my apricot, it's doing really well. And um, my mulberries here are doing really good. And um, they're getting bigger every day, so. Even this little one's covered in fruit. And I'm probably gonna leave it, I'm probably gonna go through and uh, take out a few of these branches that are crossing over and um, I'm going to come along and prune out all the low growth on all my guavas and uh, stuff like that. But um, I just want to have, have a few pots set up so that I can take a few cuttings of my Mexican cream and, and uh, all the guavas. And, uh, I'm going to actually trim the apple trees as well just to get rid of like a lot of this excess growth because uh, yeah it's just covered in flowers at the moment and uh, it's starting to grow little tiny bits of fruit there so I've been going along, going along and getting rid of all the dead flowers uh, a few have fallen off of that one but none off of this one yet they all seem to be getting pretty well pollinated so you can see a few of them starting to form fruit on this one as well. You can see it. Yeah. Uh, what else? The raspberries are starting to uh, put on new little sprouts for spring. I'm still not sure when they're supposed to fruit exactly. So. This one, I'm hoping at least this one will fruit this summer, but uh, who knows. And I have potted up my little alpine strawberries, and I've got a little uh, leaf celery in here, just because the celery that I'm growing isn't doing too well. I don't know if I'm going to keep growing it, but this you can dry the leaves and, and use that for that flavour anyway. So. And I got my little stevia, stevia, whatever it's called. It's uh, doing really well. And uh, my little walking onion is doing pretty good. It's already put on some new growth here. And yeah, that's about it. Still waiting for the yakon and the golden raspberries. And um, the cinnamon tree. It's just a little stick but it still has the green growth or the green section at the bottom so I'm hoping the roots are still alive hopefully it'll put on some new growth now that the weather's warming up and you can see here I've almost got some tomatoes ready and uh, my little Hawaiian guava seedlings are doing pretty good so I'll probably put some of those up soon because uh, I want to use those to graft um, so that I can see if I can graft a multi guava, so a uh, Mexican cream and uh, pink Hawaiian. Plus, I want to see if I might be able to graft some of the cherry guavas to that, but uh, I'm not too sure because they're a bit of a different species, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. The little lemon tree is still doing good, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.